This is a recast of the 4700 word piece. Ruby, the versatile programming language, from GPT-5. Let's listen in. The article discusses Ruby, a dynamic, object-oriented programming language developed by Yukihiro Mats Matsumoto in Japan in the mid-1990s. Ruby is known for its simple syntax and high readability, making it particularly attractive for beginners. This language combines principles from various programming languages like Perl, Smalltalk, Eiffel, Ada, and Lisp to offer a balanced mix of functional and imperative programming styles. In modern software development, Ruby plays a significant role, especially thanks to the popular web framework Ruby on Rails. Rails have changed the way developers work worldwide by emphasizing conventions over configuration and the DRY principles. Ruby is not only used for web applications, but is also applied in data analysis, DBOPs, and task automation. You may be surprised to hear that companies like Airbnb, GitHub, and Shopify use Ruby extensively, which emphasizes the language's relevance and influence. The article also explores the origins of Ruby. It was released in 1995 by Yukihiro Matsumoto, who wanted to create a language that was both simple and intuitive to use, but also powerful enough for complex tasks. Matsumoto was of the mind that programming languages should adapt to programmers, not the other way around, a philosophy that influenced the development of Ruby. The article further explores the historical milestones of Ruby and its continuous development. The release of the first stable version in 1996, significant performance improvements in 2007 with Ruby 1.9, the release of Ruby on Rails by David Heinmeier Hansen in 2004 revolutionizing web development are some of those crucial events. Then we have a detailed discussion about the basic syntax and structure of Ruby program. It talks about variables, methods, comments, and documentation, primitive data types like integers, float, string, and Boolean arrays, and hashes. It also discusses advanced concepts in Ruby programming like the definition and call of methods, classes and objects, and introduction to object-oriented programming. It delves into constructors and destructors, modules and mixins, as well as blocks, procs, and lambdas, which are all methods for passing code as arguments. The practical application of Ruby is also discussed ranging from file handling and I.O. operations to error handling and exception management. The article introduces metaprogramming in Ruby that allows programs to modify other programs at runtime. This makes Ruby particularly powerful and flexible. We also get an overview of important frameworks and libraries like Ruby on Rails, which is known for its conventions and principles that boost productivity. Sinetra is another framework mentioned, which is lightweight and offers more flexibility, making it great for small web applications, APIs, or microservices. The article ends with a discussion about best practices while programming with Ruby focusing on code quality and maintenance with practices like clarity and readability, KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid, DRY principle, don't repeat yourself, regular code reviews and documentation. There's also a discussion on test-driven development, TDD, version control and collaboration within teams, and performance optimization along with security aspects in Ruby applications. It wraps up with an optimistic outlook on the future of Ruby, mentioning continuous development and an active community ensuring it continues to play an important role in modern software development. To put it short, Ruby is a versatile and powerful language offering something for both beginners and experienced developers with its simplicity, readability, and the variety of features. That's it for today.